Hey everybody, what's up? It is Crypto Muscle coming to you with an update. So I was looking, I got off work and then I was looking through my telegram and uh, got some great information there. So I wanted to share some information and thoughts and so forth and it's about arbitraging so I woke up this morning and I always like to you know watch YouTube videos and I came across one that was very interesting and I'm a subscriber to as well to uh, climbing crypto and he released a video uh, that was an interview with John McAfee so um, yeah, just look up climbing, climbing crypto, and it says John McAfee speaks, and it he talks about you know, when you listen to the video, um, climbing crypto is not doing the interview; he's just playing an interview, and he speaks, and so McAfee speaks about McAfee magic, the Visa debit, the McAfee exchange, the QR stickers, and wallet that he wants to do and it was some good inf in interesting information so uh, I'm not going to steal climbing cryptos thunder because this is this was a really great interview material that he picked up obviously and look at the and it shows right there you know you have 52 likes including my you know me liking it as well um, and climbing crypto is a very arb centric uh, youtuber and he's all about arbitraging and all. So, uh, yeah, um, this plays into the updates that um, arbitraging has been doing this past day or so. And so when this was played out, um, I looked through the telegram and... This was posted in the Telegram today addressing some of the questions that were asked that, that McAfee was putting out there. So, because he, he spoke about how he wanted to, you know, and he answered some of these questions. So, some interesting stuff um, from statements he made in the interview and some of the stuff to clarify some of the points he made, such as, you know, McAfee decided that it would be more beneficial for his business to draft a direct deal with a QR wallet instead of having his own branded card. So he's getting away from his own branded card. Not necessarily the Never card, because the Never card is a separate card, but his own, uh, I guess, McAfee Magic wallet, or uh, not wallet, but a card, or some sort of McAfee card. And so... Um, and he's looking for this QR wall to be a more long-term play because of the strategy that he has behind it. It's, it's pretty interesting, you know, and it leaves it wide open for wide usage on how this QR wallet works where it's like a sticker that you place on the card and you have that scanned and then you're able to open it up and use it. And it's it's an interesting concept. And so uh, going on here... Um, McAfee's decision to focus on the wall does not change the Nevercard plans, as I just stated. Um, they're still planning on deliver delivering these Nevercards, arbitraging that is. And so, um, so they'll be putting out emails to update the progress soon. And as you go on, um, he talks about not doing the McAfee exchange, but does not mean that he would not partner with a bigger exchange. So... Um, yeah, going on here, it says Vintech and John will announce more on that soon. Vintech is part of Cartier's, uh, I guess, company there. Um, which, if you've been following arbitraging, uh, David Peterson was pictured with Cartier, uh, McAfee, and a guy they speak about, they call him A. So, uh, going on. 
Um, yeah, there's more to it. They said they cannot release information, but it's more to come. Uh, fourth point that they want to clarify from the interview is that uh, they're working to get all this stuff on track and done. Fifth point, uh, McAfee Magic is going to be doing shadow signups live now. Some shadow trades will start within 24 hours, so you can sign up for a membership on your ARB account and use ARB or ETH. So then, that was this morning, and then later on, they just posted that they want to show the advancement of Apex layout. And showing you how the ease of use is and all that. I guess I could just click on that and kind of show the layout over here. And another picture they posted um, of what it looks like here for their little leverage trading thing. And let's see here. They show in this layout you could, you could use two charts as I showed in the second picture uh, there we go second picture two charts as you can see and said uh, we would give it a final design now that they have a layout that they want and then they posted another thing later on they wanted to give a glimpse of what's coming for the external I was our internal exchange so they wanted some feedback over the next 40 hours, two days, which is, uh, so, you know, just in case if there's any needs or, or changes or not, just some opinions and thoughts. The order book will be optional, view standard, and new era top view. So they, and they wanted to show that. So with all that, um, let's see here. Yeah, so with those updates, the price of arbitrage shot up like crazy. So it went from 11 cents when I went to work today. And there it goes, 11 cents. Then it went to 12 cents. And all of a sudden, as you keep going throughout the hours of the day, let me try to roll this down I went way too far back so it was at 12 cents and then we went back down 11 and a half cents and it's kind of stuck around there all day today went to work and then all of a sudden let's see here is gradually going back to 12 cents little by little uh, where is that? Sheesh. All right. Let me just get down to it. There we go. There we go. So I went up to, yeah, 14 cents. And then it shot up to 16 cents, 17, 21, 28. 33 and then kind of corrected the 31 and it's been at 32 cents ever since so that's not bad from a 12 cent to a 32 cent increase and looking at the current price right now it's at 33 cents the a bot you could say the takeout price is 105 so it's been going down and the gap is starting to close here, which is good because you want this to match or go beyond the A bot price if you're trying to get out. Of, oh, that's if you're trying to get out of the A bot originally, but now that it's going Apex, that's a different story. I guess that needs to be explained on how this uh, AUSD will be liquid and able to be cashed out, but all in all, some good news today on that front as I go and I look at what I have here on my dashboard 
you know, a near $45,000 thing, um, or AUSD, you know, I got thousands of ARBs in this wallet. I had it up to almost 5,000 of them, um, and I sold some here and there, and kind of built up this ETH in the wallet that's been sitting here, because I'm just looking to go one plus ETH before I withdraw it. So... Um, another late, latest thing they talked about was also that the exchange is offline at this time. Uh, let's see if I can find that. Um, maybe not. I read it though that, um, let's see here. Yeah, the exchange is currently offline. They're implementing the trading pairs AUSD, AUSD to ETH, ARB to ETH, AUSD to ARB to go live after this upgrade. The exchange will be completely new, so there's no orders, in, and they're going to wipe out all the orders and start fresh. They'll try to get the upgrade done as soon as possible. So they estimate the downtime between 40 to 72 hours, so two to three days. And they say to thank you for the patience. So that was the latest update as well. So lots of updates today. So after I shot an update yesterday on how there's not much of an update, and then all of a sudden today, there's a lot of updates. And so just wanted to share that since I've, kind of tied myself into ARB and I made quite a bit from ARB so I'm looking to try to finish out strong and getting out of ARB which is my whole thing about it so this is an ARB video today which I normally haven't done and no I'm not sponsoring and getting paid ARBs to do this video or anything like that it's just it was something I was invested in last year and I'm still in, and I'm looking to, like I said, cash this thing out, you know. I'm just trying to go balls out to the end and finish it out strong, and hopefully I could get more out of this, you know. So, yeah, just wanted to share this update. And that's about it for now. So... There's no links to this platform in particular because I've never shared a link to Arbitrage or any of the token platforms that I'm in. I'm more into the real platforms, the BTC in and out type of platforms. So those links are down below. Uh, I have all those things down below. All those platforms are, you know, they withdraw. You could cash it out. And that's what it's all about. You don't have to worry about tokens and trying to sell an exchange or any of that stuff. It's just straight BTC or ETH into your wallet. I mean, how easy is that? All you got to do is just find the right people to follow and find the right platforms to jump into. And there you go. So this is this type of stuff I'm talking about. My passive trades. EXP asset, which is currently on Death Watch, but I'm keeping an eye on it. Po uh, links are still posted, just in case they might pull and turn around. Uh, FX trading is on its pretty much deathbed, so there's no link for that one. Uh, Nexus Global, I call it the most underrated platform at the moment. Um, and when I say Nexus Global, it's all going about the Forex explosion for that passive income. Um, got Coin Ad Share. Then you got Bit Trading 888. And then lastly, the monster right now that everybody's on Cash Forex Group, Cash FX. So. If you like my video hit the like subscribe links down below 
and I'll see you in the next one.